Hello, my name is Andrew Campbell, and this is episode 12 of Hide and Seek with Wireshark. And today I'm going to be uh, answering a question that somebody had about uh, the difference the difference between a flood and a scan. And so I've got I've got uh, I've got a file here that I'm going to that is a OS scan. And and in this file, I'm actually going to be showing you what are the things that are the sort of the key identifiers that say when I see this, I am dealing with a scan. And then I'm also going to execute a flood, and we're going to look at some of the, the, the key factors around that that say, hey, that is a flood, if you were to see that in the wild. So first things first, I'm going to, I'm going to skip through a little bit of stuff. I'm not going to show you about uh, filtering out stuff, uh, because in this particular cap capture, there are some things in this capture that are actually normal, and uh, of the 193,000 packets that I have, a, a large number of them are UDP. So in, in this particular case, I actually, I actually had a YouTube video playing in the background. So uh, we could filter it out if we want, and that would get rid of all of the all of the UDP traffic. But what I want to look for right now is we want to look to see if there was like a sin scan or something like that. So for me, I like to do, I like to check first uh, this. And right away, we this is the, this is the hex value for the sin flag. So if I hit enter for that, it's going to filter out. It's going to give me all the moments in this capture that a sin flag occurs. So we've got a lot going on here. And if we look at these at the source here, there is a ton of sin traffic that is happening that's coming from 1.70 in this exact this example here. And we can see right away that that traffic is going to a bunch of devices on this particular network. We've got 34, we've got 64, we have a router here. Um, another one might show up. Maybe we can go down, we can see, like, look at look at all that SIN packets that are coming from 1.70. So right away, red flags are, are flying, and I'm saying, hey, I think that there's something coming from 1.70. And the, the things that we need to look at I'm going to I'm going to pause on this portion right here and here are some of the things that you should look for right a a source that stays the same is kind of a sign that there is there's a, there's a lot of activity happening from this particular machine now if the destination port is changing it could mean that we're doing a random destination or we're actually scanning the entire network and so 72, 69, 64, these 69 there again. These could all be machines that exist on this on this network, and we are sending particular uh, packets to certain ports on those machines from from 70. Um, other things to look for would be the source port and the destination port. Particularly, does this does the source port stay the same? Okay, and this would be probably probably the biggest difference between a scan and a flood. Uh, and in a moment, we're actually going to see that happen. But if we look at the the destination, so I'm going to change my filter just a little bit here, and I want to look at the the activity on a particular machine. Let's say 64. So what I've done here is I've modified our filter, and I've, I'm looking for SIN packets, and I'm looking for specifically packets that have the IP destination of 1.64. Um, let's go up. 
here. So these are all the packets that came from 70 to 1.64. And they were SYN packets specifically. And let's look at some of these ports, right? The, the source port is staying the same, and the destination port is changing. And if we look at some of these key ones, we got 443. And as you're, as you're looking at this, some of these ports should jump out at you. Uh, as ports that are like, oh, that's interesting. I recognize that. Uh, we get a lot of ports like uh, we'll see uh, VNC ports, we'll see RPC ports, we'll see SMTP, and basically like some of those reserved ports for uh, activities that are typically having services that are on a target machine, right? SMTP would be simple mail transfer protocol. Um, some of these, I mean, I'd have to, we'd have to look it up and be like, oh, what's happening typically on port nine, 990? And right, it, not, it could be a, a dedicated one. Uh, but really, these are the key factors that you identify a scan. We've got a, a source that stays the same. Uh, you could be, this could be a spoofed source. So that would be something to dig into. The source port stays the same because remember we're, we're we're probing out to these machines and we're 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 saying I want to connect to you when we have that when we send that sin flag flag and we want that that packet the response to come back to the same same spot so we can observe the the result of that probe and if we see a lot of port changing on 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 certain machines then there's a really good sign that we're dealing with a scan. Okay, so we've looked at what are the key factors that make up a scan. Let's go and take a look at a flood and then compare that in, in Wireshark. So I'm going to be doing all of this work from my Kali machine here. And I'm going to be using HPing3 as my, my flood creator. Look at that, I already had one queued up. Uh, I'm going to be sending SYN packets to 10.16 and I'm flooding it. So what I want to do here is I'm going to start a capture and then I'm going to flood. I'll let it run for about 10 seconds. Four, five. Kill the flood. Stop the capture. And if I go down and I look at, you can't see that, but I've got about 293,000 packets in that 10 seconds that we, we worked on. Um, so let's go back and I'm going to scan to the top or move to the top, and one of the benefits of using uh, sort of like an isolated network here is that I don't have the, the garbage traffic like people on YouTube and, and whatnot. I, I'm, what we are seeing here is, is only a flood. So it was a send flood, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to filter on TCP flags. Specifically, I'm filtering on the, on the SYN flag. And right away, we can see that there's some unique things that are that set this apart from the, uh, the scan that we did. So I know, we know, because you saw me run the flood, that it's going from 1013 to the destination of 1016. Um, and then we have a ton of them, right? There's just an astronomical amount of... of packets that are being sent out and received really uh, but let's look at some look at a couple of things specifically I want to know what it, take note of the source port now remember in the, the scan the source port stayed the same in the in a flood that's not the case the source port is going up incrementally if we look at 77 78 79 
80, 81, 82, right? And it's going up continually. Um, which is a, which that in itself is kind of a sign that we're dealing with a flood here. Um, I've got a, a dedicated, like, all those tra all that traffic is coming from a same source and it's going towards the same destination, uh, which is basically saying, like, this internal machine is sending a ton of traffic towards this other internal machine. Uh, and if we know, if we look back to what we know about denial of service, is that, and it comes to the whole, the whole meat and potatoes of 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 a three-way handshake, is that when I send a SYN packet, I do want to have a a SYN ACK sent back to me. I want to establish a connection. And so the reason that we have incremental ports going up here is that this is a new connection. I'm trying to establish a new connection. And my my target machine of 1016 is going to try to respond to that that packet. It may send a a reset act and be like, wait a second, I don't I don't know who you are, 1013. Uh, or if it's a port that's actually open, maybe it's a maybe it's a web a web server, it's got port 80 open and it's actually accepting connections, it's going to try to do a syn act to respond to that that source. Okay. Uh, and it depends on what you do. So right here I did I didn't do anything. I just did a, a generic blast. I didn't actually choose a port. And so it it, it gave it the, the destination port zero, which if you see that, that's also a good sign that somebody's doing a pretty sloppy denial of service on your on your system. But there you go. Those are the primary differences between a scan and a flood. A scan, we're going to have a source ports typically staying the same. It's trying to establish a connection, depending on what kind of scan you're doing. Uh, the destination ports are going to be changing because we're doing we're probing on those on particular machines to see what port is open. A flood is going to have the source port changing because it's trying to establish a new connection. And again, that can change depending on the type of flood. But in this case, we're, you, we're doing a, a SYN flood. And the, the target machine is going to be trying to respond to each of these SYN packets that it's receiving. There you go. If you found this video informative at all, please go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.